For this Getting Started with Espionage tutorial series, we've been following the hypothetical efforts of a marketer at a web hosting company, One on One Internet, as they seek out new ideas and insights from one of the other leaders in the web hosting industry, GoDaddy. When doing competitive analysis of this form, it's important to identify organizations who are doing search marketing well within your competitive environment. GoDaddy is seen as a leader in the hosting space and uses the internet and search marketing as a primary sales channel. Today, let's look specifically at the search ads they are running to see if there is anything one-on-one -on -one might learn from them. To do this, simply log into your iSpionage account and perform a search on GoDaddy. And the first thing that uh, a user will observe once the data loads is that the summary page um, pops up. And of course, we covered the summary page in the first tutorial. So we're going to jump straight to the advertising section here. And as you can see, all the ads uh, from GoDaddy are compiled under one page so you can easily review the um, copy associated with their advertising. In addition, we've sorted all of these by AEI. AEI we covered in the concept section, but just to review, the ad effectiveness index is a number that we use to indicate how long an ad has been in use and how recently it was in use. So the basic premise of the ad effectiveness index is that if you have an ad that has been running for a long time and is still running, that ad is most likely a very effective ad for the advertiser. It appears that the GoDaddy top AEI ad is a WordPress ad uh, communicating to folks that are blogging. And you can see here on the landing page that uh, they're showing different templates for WordPress. They've got good alignment, uh, you know, very good uh, landing page keyword and advertising alignment. You can see here all these uh, WordPress templates that they've put onto this landing page. So it's all very relevant to the uh, person clicking. In addition, iSpionage uh, does some other things. On this top AEI ad, we also provide uh, a link to other keywords that are triggering that ad as well. So a very simple way of finding um, and exporting uh, all the keywords associated with some of the top ads um, that are being run by one of our top competitors in this example. So uh, very useful information organized in a way that uh, allows you to take advantage of it immediately. And not only are these keywords available for you to download, but your competitor has done the hard work of grouping them for you. So the power of the iSpionage data is uh, several fold. The one is just having all these ads Every single ad that uh, GoDaddy has uh, placed over the last uh, few years organized there for your review. The second thing that is uh, important to note is that you can skim this data quickly because of how it's organized and find uh, segments within the data that allow you to know how they're competing. So for instance, if I skim down here, I see a number of ads related to SSL. SSL is a secure socket slayer and it is a more secure form of uh, hosting that's available. You'll pay a little bit more than you would for a, a, a hosting without SSL. That's why there are ads uh, specifically for it. The other reason, of course, is that folks that are typing in SSL uh, EV certificates or how to get an SSL certificate are obviously further along in the purchase cycle than people who are not typing in those types of phrases. And if I scroll down the page just a little bit further, I can see a number of other interesting uh, segments or potential clusters showing up here. Uh, here we have DE domain registration. We have India domain registration dot IN. Uh, we even have some um, other languages popping up. Here's a Spanish ad. So it looks like, uh, you know, GoDaddy is embarked upon a international strategy, and if, if one in one Internet hadn't done that as of yet, here's a great uh, thing for them to emulate. But why? Why go through all this to find these sorts of groupings and clusters? Well, it's because you can search your competitors' ads and, and more quickly uh, determine the right uh, approaches to take for your own ads. 
In addition, you can look for these sorts of groups and clusters within the information that we provide through iSpionage and uh, mine their ad groups to become your ad groups. Uh, in addition, you can use these sorts of groupings for uh, mapping out your own campaigns from their campaigns. So what we are essentially talking about is getting rid of the blank page uh, and how difficult it is to develop a campaign from scratch. And what we're doing is replacing that with the ability to move through the continuous improvement cycle more quickly by planning faster, doing faster, checking faster, and acting faster. We hope that by reviewing this specific example and by reviewing a few search advertising core concepts, we've given you a deeper understanding for the type of insights you can generate to address your business challenges and improve your own search marketing results. We also hope you found this tutorial to be useful. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our blog to continue to receive new helpful advice and tips as they become available. From all of us at iSpionage, thanks for watching.